Good evening, everybody. It feels like good afternoon. Uh, this is our regular scheduled meeting, but we're starting it a couple hours early. Um, we're being recorded. I want to let everybody know we're being recorded by uh, our new, um, what did you call it? Carver Halifax. Carver Halifax um, cables. We're also covered by our illustrious news reporter uh, for the Plimpton Halifax Express. Express. I'm not, some things I'm remembering another thing. Um, before we start the meeting, I'd like to ask if we could stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'd like to ask the board if you have anything you'd like to add to the agenda this evening. Have you looked at it? Are we good? I'm good. Or any announcements or heads up, thumbs up, yeah. thumbs down? Good? Okay. Just, uh, well, just to thank everybody for the, I got several phone calls of concern that I missed the last meeting, so I'd like to thank those people ahead of time for thinking about me and my talking to me. That's it. That's nice. That's very nice. Very hesitant on saying anything, but we knew you liked those phone calls. And, and then we knew it would help you heal and pray uh, pray for your quick recoveries to get you back up here. There was only one that was, sounded like it was from you, but I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway, um, we have a 5.30 uh, executive session. I guess we'll, what we'll do is we'll go ahead into the executive session. Um, and we will be coming back in public hearing. Um, it's in regards to a grievance hearing. Um, Ken Bartel, and um, whether I don't believe we'll have any statements um, concerning the executive, but we will be come be coming back as soon as that executive session is over. A regular session. If I can get a vote of the board to go into executive session, I'll make that motion. Second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Yes. 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 All right, uh, we'll be back. Thank you. We're rolling. Right. We're rolling. Hey, we're back. He's here. Wow, it's quarter past seven. Moving right along. Not. Anyways, we have a seven o'clock appointment. Friends of Hops. Friends of Hops in the house. Do we have two friends? No. Well, he's a friend, but not a Hops. Not a Hops. Not a hops friend. Well, he's sure he's a hops friend. He could be, yeah. He could have yeah. donated. Not official. Well, I'll hand you some. So anyways, what brings you along? Well, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on our plot for hops, which we have on the books for uh, April the 11th. Um, everything as of right now, we're still all systems go. Obviously, if you look out the window, um, it's kind of hard to... I don't know understand. This you guys could have built igloos and all kinds of stuff out should, here. Someone said we should have had a guess the date when the snow's gone. When is, it? when is it? It's a month from tomorrow. Hey, you mean? It might 11. be muddy. We might, might, might have to do some lawn. Yeah, we might have to do some, uh, some landscape in there. But um, as of now, we're all systems go. And I just wanted to keep you guys up to date. Um, we were going to include a couple of different things just to try to help us out as far as raising more money than uh, just doing the cow event. We wanted to have it be like a family type day. Um, again, let's hope we get some weather. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna do the jumpy thing. It's gonna be similar to events that have been done uh, for the Fourth of July, Fourth of July, kind of that setup. Um, we will have food there. Um, I have one food vendor confirmed. Oh, uh, oh. Bella's. You're gonna have food around Ploppy. Uh, well, that's it. If you look at the map, I try <laughs> oh, to because they're that. waiting nice. for it. Yeah. You Make sure it's upwind. Up, yeah. <laughs> Jonathan's true. provided us a nice nap. I got a nice, oh, yeah. beautiful nap, nap there. That's your nap. nap. You need a nap, apparently. It's uh, behind the tank. But uh, yeah, I gave that okay. there for you guys to try to keep everything separate. Is that what there was? Mm -hmm. We're basically going to keep uh, the animals kind of to the back. Um, we have, in addition to the cow plot, we have um, the folks from the, the farm. Mm -hmm. What's the, what's that um, they're not an yeah. official um, farmer. Well, they're like a farmer association. So there w were some people that attended a meeting last week for the um, Board of Health, and I sat next to a woman who 
had offered, um, she used to actually be on the school committee, um, Terry Carmen, had offered any, any time that hops or any other children events that she would be happy to get together some ponies or farm animals to do, like a little petting zoo or pony oh, ride. Yeah. So, so really, have, you yeah. have you contacted the sheriff's department about their farm well, and stuff down there? We have. The, I was a little bit hesitant, Troy, just because we're, we're run into such a, a weather kind of situation, yeah. snow situation. I didn't want to shoot the moon and have the whole circus come into town. For an event that well, we shoot might. quarter of the moon. Well, yeah, at least like the crest. Either that or measure out the parking lines. <laughs> yeah, that's a, yeah. At and they're really the happy to help. I mean, the, the residents, Terry Carmen, said that, you know, a lot of the people who have animals are always looking for events well, to show the chicken, up there. Chicken, sheep, stuff. Sure. And so Jeez. they're really excited about helping their community in hops. Absolutely. And we have, um, I have a call in. We'll have porta potties there. A, a, turned in my report up to Kathy of the Board of Health today. So she gave us the the okay. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to keep you guys in the loop and let us let you know. Uh, Mr. Nezarello is going to be providing us with the cow. Uh, he also said if we run into a situation where we don't have a spot here and he had a, a spot that was usable up there at the farm, he'd, he'd let us use the spot can, there. Can I see the cow before and I give him a little X lax and <laughs> a little something. I was gonna yeah, say that. How do you how do you adjust his feeding habits? Or you just he might be out there for well, an hour. You, not, I'll, do, I'll tell you a story. Or do you like all right? Somebody <laughs> knows this cow and knows how it how it goes. Well, grows, I'll tell you, and that way you kind of got a feel when it goes. I'll tell you a plot power story. If it goes break. at bre you know breakfast, it doesn't go till. <laughs> We'll turn, we'll turn your kid away. But you got a backup cow in case one goes early. And yeah, well, we have um, Whitman Baseball. Whitman Baseball does it every year. And they were actually getting the cow ready to go onto the field. And <laughs> to it took its course literally right before it got on the field. So they waited three hours to no avail. So what can happen in that? It does happen. Hopefully it doesn't happen here. But what will happen in that stance is we will have a backup plan of either pulling a name. Yeah. Pulling a name out of a hat or... Um, some sort of thing to, to get yeah. right. What happens if it goes within 15 minutes? That's fine. It days of games. <laughs> no, no, no. Go. 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 There's, my, it's, there's, there's three prizes. Okay. So first plop, let's say we get one plop, that's the first prize. We, we have a three hour window. If in that three hour window it goes again, that becomes first prize. Oh, and I first see. prize gets bumped back to second prize. And it goes again, that gets bumped to first prize and everything moves back down the line. So that's you're going to have stats on cows and we will. Pretty much kind of how they... How they work. They go 12, an average of 12 times a day. Is a Hereford or what kind of cow? I, I have to tell you. I don't know. I know it's a moo cow. Yeah, are you going to be a farmer after the... Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> Hopefully not. So I just wanted to keep you guys in the mix. Um, you know, again, hopefully we have some green on our town green that we can use. Um, the other thing we wanted to do it's too... It's easier to see the plops if it's snowing outside. Exactly. Exactly. Hopefully we don't have to spray paint lines on the snow. Um, but the other thing we want to talk about too is uh, we were offered the opportunity for pony rides um, through um, the woman that Terry was Carmen. Terry Carmen as well. Um, and we wanted to make sure that it was okay with the town, um, you know, liability wise to make sure that it's okay to hold a pony ride. Right, because she doesn't have a technology. professional company doing that. If she brings the ponies in and we have riders and such, the town's going to be liable in case anything goes wrong. It, in essence, we're insuring her along with cops and everything else. I mean, I'm not saying I don't want to do that. I just want the board to be aware that. that is be is there another event on that day, on the green no. or in the area? No. So no. that's strictly the only yeah. event. The only thing I will say, Mike, is that again with the snow is tentatively the opening morning for soccer across the street for UH soccer. So we're hoping a lot of kids. Is have that open today for Halifax or the whole? For Halifax and okay. much of the towns, but they are talking about moving things. They're talking about moving spring sports back if we have to. Because there's still that money. Yeah. yeah. Kind of well, I put it this way: when you see the crocus blooming, then we can start. Then we can go. Yeah. Well, I can't see the, the lawn. Just they did, and it could snow under, didn't yeah. it? I did speak to Bob about. Um, he doesn't oh. officially have a line maker. He okay. could get one from Plumpton, but it's the same as soccer has. Doesn't high school have one? Oh, it is. Uh, in talking with Whitman, Whitman does a great job. They raise fifteen thousand dollars on their mm -hmm. cow plot. When do they, they do theirs? They do theirs as part of baseball, and they do it at the end of their baseball season as their major fundraiser. They sell three thousand squares. 
at five dollars a square. They do an amazing job. So this so, one just could be the prerequisite. You could do it again. Yeah, I mean it, we're hoping we kind of work things out, out this year, and, and we could make it an annual. But what they said is really labor intensive, guys. Is I, my thought was I was just gonna I help out with soccer, and I would just use a little soccer machine to line it. And he said, just a heads up, that took us eight hours to do to do the field. He said what we did and what Whitman helped them with is the DPW helped them out. They had a line machine that they used for roads and stuff, mm -hmm. and they said that was under two hours. So we were maybe hoping that maybe Bob. But we, uh, I checked with him tonight, and he, yeah, we don't own one. We don't own a line machine. Maybe well, you might get one around. from Check the high school. You know, junior high. They yeah. Because yeah. they do a lot of their fields their too. Their own lines and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No, I think so they, back, they have a tractor that goes back and forth. Yeah, and this one he was talking, I think, Troy, was a, like a street liner. You know, like doing lines on the street yeah. kind of thing. Well, it was the same type of thing. They put it on the football field. Yeah. The yard lines on stuff. They put, they put them across there, too. It's the same thing. Is that what you said took eight hours? Or? Yeah, well, the, the ones that we use for soccer and stuff are just like a spray paint can with a... Well, you might, I you think know, what, small what they're saying is maybe they have a higher grade of equipment. Yeah, now, yeah, so yeah we like, can look into that, sure. Um, back to the horse, the pony. What's the history on the individual animal? If we're going to say yeah to the this, where it's the town's liability. Not I know a, not she's. A, I know she's uh, well, pretty well known in the community. Um, she did do a, a neighborhood horse caroling uh, yeah. event in her neighborhood down on mm -hmm. the. I want to say it was Hudson Street yes. area, uh, and that was very. Necklace. That was very well received. Um, so, I mean, I believe she's reputable, but I can't, I can't personally. Did, did she, did she bring the ponies up for the Fourth of July? Was it? Was no, it her? no. But she's, um, she's been on the school committee. She's, you know, like, like Jonathan said, she's, um, she's really been involved a lot with this whole right to farm and, um, you know, water health um, bylaw. So no, I'm just I'm yeah. just trying to understand because you know ponies. I don't know you know horses or yeah. neighbor had one of the ponies that and they really don't get big yeah and that's the extent of my experience with them you know what the manners or how they are with crowds to, sure does she do it a lot of her own I can you I know can check with her I can I can check with her and get back to you guys because Absolutely. if that's the case you're going to have a lot of people up here and sure we're open we just want to make sure that. Yeah, um, yeah, I can I can talk with her and see what pony like specific pony riding experience she has. Well, not only the pony riding experience, but what type of animal she's going to have up there. It's not, how long have they been riding? Right, it's, it's something that's been broken for a long time. An older horse, an older pony. Yeah, I'll and that makes the, a difference. You know, the elding. I'll get the skinny from her and see what's going on. And we're going to keep it. Uh, we had pony rides here before, and I'm blanking on what event it was, but. We would obviously keep yeah, it kind Halifax of back and and Halifax and Lights. We would keep it back and out of the way of everything, just to you know keep everything. So safe. you don't step in the plops. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, we could always think, get the pony to plops. I think we yeah, all, that might be a good back. I don't think any of us would mind the pony, but we're just gonna have more more info background. Sure. On it. I don't mind doing that at all. And we got time. Yeah, and then I know we're talking just plops, but just to keep on the back burner too, uh, we have the the Hop for Hops 5K, our second annual 5K coming up in June. And uh, we already have 32 registered runners, which I know doesn't sound like a lot, but we weren't even accepting registrations at this point last year. So we're actually ahead of the game uh, this year, and I think it's going to be a great turn. Well, I appreciate all the hard work you guys have done. I mean, well, I appreciate thanks. anyone in town that volunteers their time. We have, an awesome, we have an awesome committee, yeah. we have a, and it's a lot of parents that, you know, have to do crazy schedule shifting. We've got a lot of young kids, so. I know last weekend, just at, a, at last minute, Jonathan and some parents went out on the ice and were making, you were selling yeah. food. Yeah, we were selling food. Food yeah. for hops. So these are people that just at a drop of a hat will go out there and do what they can to help Hot chocolate would have been great so. with all the sliding just going down that hill. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah. it was great. I mean, I couldn't participate yeah. if they would. I saw yeah. an ad in the last week's uh, Clifton Halifax. Yeah. Express. What was yeah. was that for the hops? Oh yeah, hops? and also too, we're doing in the school. We're doing a uh, change challenge. Ah, huh, that's the one. Yeah, 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 change yeah, yeah, challenge. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it, every grade has a has a, a water cooler, and uh, we're using the whole month of March. And every grade is trying to bring in some coins. It's really cute. The kids are really getting excited. Yeah, because most people, you know, they don't even Hoping use the change. Use the right. Then they'll spend now, fifteen cents dumping it in a machine and, and so, take yeah, fifteen exactly. pound a dollar. I guess. But it's it's spreading pretty quickly. We um for the first week. We had six hundred dollars worth of change in the first week. What bank kids. do you bring that to? Um, well, they don't have a, our bank is Rockland Trust, and they don't have a change machine, so I have to drive it over to Middleborough. Okay. But uh, I pull in. And you, you don't. Can, you don't. You don't go to Rockland. 
Rock, they don't have the the, the, the sword machine. You know, Troy, that we had dumped the coins yeah, in. Uh, I I have Rockman Trust. I think what because I don't like paying a fee for it. Yeah. I go over Rockman Trust over over behind the Rockman Bank there. They have a little building out back. He has a change machine. Oh really? Yeah. When I when I was there um, last week, they told me they didn't have a a sortable one. So I went down to Middleborough and, and put it in there. But anyway, so we're running it through the month of March, and then the winning grade gets uh, a movie and yeah. popcorn. Yeah. Popcorn. My the kids are, they're they're all no, excited. Really, yeah, the kids are very, very yeah. excited. Where's like, the party? In the school. Okay. In the school. In the during, during. School. Probably during school hours, oh, yeah. Cool. Probably towards the end of the year. I'm going to let them vote on what movie they want to put in. Yeah. And, and I did leave it. Great appropriate. Movie. Yeah, exactly. I left another message for um, the country. Okay, yeah, we have still, yeah, we're trying working to... on other events as well, possibly golf tournament um, and some other events there too. So. Well, that's good. I knew there was something, Alex. Like, yeah, no, thanks. That's like, I'm I'm keep having you pretty close, close with to the me. rumble and the tumble down here with the trucks and stuff. To no, you yeah, um, did. did, did, did put a, be able to put a bottle down there yeah, or something. We did. Yeah. We did one year. I'm trying to remember, Kim, what year was. Was that the no, November yes. one? Well, they're going to be doing it again. I mean, they get yeah. big crowds now. The there, touch so. a truck? No, no, no. The Mudfest. Oh, Mudfest. the Mud Yeah, they are we doing it in November. They're doing it and they're doing two. You did the first. You did the May or the earlier one. You didn't, I didn't see up there in the Yeah, that's crawl. because we didn't really get, like, we made the tiki bar, but we didn't really get a lot of donations. We, yeah. Because um, there were a lot of people from out of town. There was a lot of people from out yeah. of town, Yeah, you know, that come from far away that weren't really connected into, to Into playgrounds. Right. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah. We, we did. We, we gave it a good college try, but we didn't really get a, a good... Return. But we'll be selling squares um, this weekend for the plot for hops on Friday night at the basketball game starting yeah. at 4 30 and, and then Saturday and Sunday outside of Stop and Shop. They're yeah. Like so sell for, squares. Yeah. For so the, people want to stop and shop? Yeah. Stop and shop. Yep. So people want to stop by and purchase a square or two. Or my favorite deal, which is five for forty. <laughs> yes, yes, ten dollars a square, five squares for forty. Um, and also the town clerk is nice enough you can get your squares there as well. Yeah, that's think yeah. So, awesome. Any questions? We just got to pray for the melts. Yeah. She's just doing the melt there. Try to get some info or have her. Okay. Maybe she can come up if she has. We might I'll, I'll talk to Charlie if he has any sure. more particulars. When do you folks meet again? Two well, weeks. The fourth. The fourth. Okay. 24th. Yeah. In two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, I can do that. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Think that would help. Yeah, I'm sure. All right, good. All right. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Sean. Uh, thanks for coming in. No worries. See you Monday. Is that Gordon, Gordon from Gordon, Gordon, and Andrew? Gordon. Sure. Good. All right. We're, do, Jordan, uh, is John, Jordan on our list John, tonight? Oh, here we list. go. That was a black list. list. You're a party press? What are you, what are you looking to crash there, Gordon? Yeah, yeah. You're probably a line seven, seven, I guess. Huh? Oh, that's line good. seven? Uh, on the agenda. Yeah. Line oh. seven. Oh. <laughs> Is it a line? That's good. <laughs> you know, we should keep him here and we'll just, when we get to line. Oh, is it in our notes, Charlie, line seven? I read the article in the newspaper about just speaking up here. Oh, yes. I appreciate oh. you representing. Well, we can talk about it, sure. It's in our notes. We're going to talk about it anyway. So we will take it out of order for you. Oh, okay. So. You went upstairs. And yes. Where, did anybody come? Three of them. KCU. Oh, good. What was upstairs? Talk about the subway. Yeah, a group of residents just organized a very informal talk um, to talk go through the Silver Lake budget because there are people who aren't as familiar with the budget and the elements and what does this piece of it do and what's all about that type of thing. So, okay. uh, you've got this listed here. We have one two here, finance committee. You have resignation. Well, for Karen Favor, right. So we're, wait, nice. we're waiting so for we're you guys there. to kick quorum yeah. so we, we can... We haven't done any business yet. Oh. We had the hearing, and then we had hops, and now... That's it? We haven't got any our regular stuff done yet. Okay. Well, I thought we were waiting for finance to get a quorum and that we well, would we, come... Well, we'll take that in pieces. Karen resigned, which is separate yeah. from Ms. Oh, Ms. this Bragg. is another one. Oh. Um, oh. We're going to try and have Ms. Bragger come in on the 24th, with and I need to um, contact the moderator. We'll have someone from finance, and we can have a vote to have her appointed if everybody's on board two weeks from now. Is 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 this immediate or at the end of the term? Which one? This latest favor week? is immediate. So we're we're down. We're 
If she's in, we'll be back. We'll we'll be back to uh, six. six. Oh my God. If, Lincoln, if the board appoints uh, Linda Bragan, yeah. then we'd be back to up to six members of the finance committee. And we'll have her come in in two weeks for a re interview with the board and have a vote at the end of the interview. Well, if you have one sooner, we had they, they already met with her. No, if, but isn't that a joint vote? Yes. Okay. That's what, if you have another finance committee sooner with quorum, we could go to the meeting. We could go to that meeting. Well, we could do it that way. That's okay. if you need Monday it. If you need it soon. Let me see. Let me see about getting John then. Okay. Monday the sixth. Okay. Let me just put it in my. And I, I will 16th contact. What? March. March. And I will contact John Bruno to see if he can get. That's a ZBA hearing for the forty B. Would that help having somebody in sooner? And she's already been attending, right? She, she, attended. she attended the first yeah. meeting last night. So the okay. So the real issue with the budget is. Your line seven here, the Civil League Regional District budget. We don't have an assessment number yet from the district. We have a number that Charlie came up with, which is very similar to the number that I came up with, but we do not have an assessment number yet officially from Civil League. I we don't expect to be able to until at least this Thursday. So they didn't they didn't vote on it. Well, they voted budget the, anything. No, the meeting the last no. Thursday. I thought they voted the budget. No, no. Don't I thought they have to? Yes and no, in the sense of, yeah, by law, they need to have done it 45 days in advance of the Kingston Town meeting, which would have been that Thursday. There is a practical difficulty in that, that they didn't have a state aid number then, and they didn't have minimum contribution numbers from the Department of Education at that point either. We usually don't have state well, aid still numbers. still don't have state aid numbers. Either. Actually, we, usually by that point, at least we have the governor's budget, which would have included the state aid numbers, which would also well, Isn't that still being debated, though? I mean, far five lies. Well, it? his is in. It's... Yeah, okay. Usually, in most years... And you should know. In you most... Yeah. My camera. Go ahead. In most years, the governor will come out with a budget in January. At the same time, the Department of Education will come out with the minimum contribution levels. So all that information is available to the Silver Lake School Committee in February, let's say the end of February. In this case, Governor Baker, you know, by law, was allowed to wait until the 4th of March to release the budget last week, and also the Department of Education at that point released the minimum contribution levels. That information was needed to figure out the actual assessments. If they, had, they could have theoretically said, we're going to make some assumptions, and then a week, and then two weeks later said, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, that didn't work right. out. And yeah. that's what you assumed they were going to do, that no, make well, assumptions. And then come back. No, I mean, in a practical matter, by law, they would have had, they would have done it, but it wouldn't have made any sense. I don't think, I certainly wouldn't have encouraged them to do so, even if it was, they were required by law, because in terms of a practical reason, it wasn't going to work. I mean, as it is, the numbers, if we had used last year's numbers, minimum contribution levels, which are a very, very complex formula, we would have been very, off. Very we know I would. In widely, fact, it would have right. been to a disadvantage to Halifax to have the numbers set two weeks ago. So we have any? Idea, we don't have any idea when it might. Be well, able to we're fairly sure this coming Thursday. I would put money. No, you think not? Well, we know. We but the thing is, all the numbers exist. Yes. The decision on actually voting a budget might be separate. The numbers that we need are. All their sources of revenue. We know their state aid numbers. We know the minimum contribution levels. We know that we have to plug in things like the tuition payments that they get in for students getting into their programs, things like that. And the Pembroke reimbursement right. for health insurance. Well, that, that was included in the previous year. So that, okay, that you number, that. if you just level fund right. it, which will okay. which is right. on the assessment. Right. So, so they can, the numbers exist that could be plugged yes. in. The real thing is, what's their gross budget? If they on two, or if on Thursday they vote a gross budget equal to what's proposed in version one, then we can you can run your calculations. If they vote a slightly different number or a lot different number, you run the calculations again. Um, but the thing is that if you use the numbers we have available to us right now, with their version one budget, we're running on about five or six percent increase in in our assessment, and that's the least. And that King, amounts to two hundred and fifty thousand. Yeah. And Kingston is more on the order of 12 to 13. Plimpton's more on the order of 15%. 15%. I know that you've been in contact with your colleagues. Oh, so? So the, the real questions that we have, my phone's down now to give you the exact numbers, but the real questions we have are the 
calculation that's provided by what is the growth factor that the towns can support, which comes from DOR and is fed into the calculation. Those numbers, I was told by uh, Lisa, who's the director of the data bank, that those numbers will be posted by the end of this week so we can see what, what they use for a formula. Those, for, should, okay. those should be already in there. In the it's not the 16 number for the growth factor when you go to the website yeah. isn't, they okay. haven't updated the spreadsheet yet. Okay. But there's real questions on whether or not that, that Plimpton can actually have a 6.6% .6 minimum growth factor increase. I think there's some real questions. When you, when yeah. you go deep into theirs, right. they're like 6.6% yep. increase that the state believes that they can do. Kingston's a 4.4%, and Halifax is around a 3.3 to 3.5, someplace in there. I really think Kings, uh, Plimpton's number is incorrect because they have such an issue with what happened with the Cisco, Cisco, assessment. Cisco assessment. And I think that the state is basing their calculation off of some wrong data. And from I think Cisco? That they, from tax? From the from the town. From the excise. It's, Both it's excise and oh, tax. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Because so yeah. they overestimated that, right, and they ended up yep. excising somewhere else. So the, their excise is decreasing for this year, and the fees are decreasing for this year as well, because Cisco paid them such a large fee. In essence, we get a bump, and, yeah. they're, and they're assuming the bump is normal. But the, so... I have, I have real questions on whether Plimpton's minimum contribution number is real mm -hmm. and whether Kingston's minimum contribution well, how do you make them aware? aware? So as soon as we get the information from that formula that's uploaded to the spreadsheet, you know, the spreadsheet's uploaded online, we can then contact the DOR and ask them where they got this information from. Because the way it's set up, when you deep dive into the calculation, I don't see how Plimpton can support a 6.6 percent well, that increase. and they didn't really have a population difference like but, that's the other thing no but i think you're so smart to even look at that honestly like nobody else would really think of that like that's really great but i think what else supports that in the, the the thought that it, it shouldn't be accurate is that they didn't have a large population increase where you know in years past we have like our contribution went down Part of it is the ability to pay, and some of it is our population. Yeah, part right. of that is figured in the, is the right. amount of So this, this growth in. factor number for Clinton being right. over six percent doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense from the perspective that I'm looking at it. So when we when we look at the Silver Lake budgets, um, the reason why I stuck in here for the meeting was there's a meeting at five o'clock on yeah, Thursday. Yeah, just got finally posted at three. Just wondering. <laughs> How many selectmen are going to the meeting? Well, they don't know about it yet because okay. we haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> they really jump on the gun. Only, they really jump on the gun. It was only announced four hours ago. So, so um, and I, you can't let them know. You can't let the state know ahead of time to, to be aware of that bump with Plimpton. I mean, you can't. You have to wait till it comes out before you can question. I, oh, I'm going to contact them tomorrow and find out. I've already put a call into somebody in the governor's office. I haven't got a phone call back yet. I have a call, well I saw Casey and I texted her earlier today because I wanted to have a conversation with her about um, the budget because John Creed yeah. had called me and you know I, I understand that they're looking at the budget and they do plan on cutting some of it. I know that there was some talk about using E&D to offset the budget which would be concerning to us if that was what is presented on Thursday. We don't know really so I did put a call into her to She's going to so call me tomorrow. My perspective on that, regardless of the Pembroke settlement, yeah. is it's a bad idea to sure. use E&D money for funding the budget regardless. And we know that this $335,000 that they were looking to the towns to make up because they spent that money from the capital well, budget the year last year. year. Right now. Yeah, so this year. applying it towards the budget for the school? So there was a well, the budget planning to the budget they were, they, anyway. They bought capital projects with capital project money, but now there's no capital project money. However, they simply threw in three hundred thirty-five thousand dollars of operating costs into the fiscal sixteen budget, equaling the same amount, and said to the towns, right. "Here, you take care of it." Yeah, but they told me that that was on capital. We won't. So, all right. No. All right. So, so, re so regardless of that. Yeah. Um, if you can make that meeting, I'm planning on... What is that meeting exactly? Five o'clock, so like, it's a Silver Lake Regional School Committee's Revenue Subcommittee. Casey's oh, on that, that, yeah, yeah. And there's a representative from the other... But I don't think it's going to be discussed then. I think it's going to... That portion is going to be discussed at the 6 o'clock meeting. I, at 5 o'clock, what I understand is going to happen is 
when we had we went to that meeting and um, we talked about the Pembroke money and we were asked individually what we felt our towns wanted and I explained that I thought the cleanest way of doing it was to get the complete refund if it was possible and then reallocate that Pembroke money toward capital items for Silver Lake but to make it a clean sweep where it goes through the proper vote of town meeting we get the money back they show us their 10-year capital plan the same way we have a capital plan and we see how those priorities fill in and we certainly commit to doing some of those things that are on the list. Well, the town would vote it. Vote it. Yeah. That was the whole idea yeah. of this whole yeah. thing is yeah. to give the towns their opportunity to... So what I expect to happen on Thursday... Reallocate. Is that we, you know, I thought we were all sort of on board at the 5 o'clock meeting and then at the 6 o'clock meeting they talked a little bit about, you know, having a special town meeting within our annual that funded some of the capital and again I said, unless they were emergency fixes like we need to really look at a plan before we you know come to so my hope is that at five o'clock they will show us a plan, a plan of the things that are critical to get done now and you know we can talk to them about funding some of those capital items okay. um, duly noted but at six o'clock they'll be talking about the potential of using E and D. &D. Again, that's just. That's it, the full committee, not the subcommittee. Right. So the, the subcommittees are five, the full committee, the school committee. Because, I mean, again, this is all sort of hearsay right now from conversations from individual members of the, of the school committee. And it hasn't been officially presented to the full school committee, but we all need to be on the same um, plan <clears throat> if it's presented how we all feel about that. Right. So with the preliminary numbers that we. Charlie calculated, actually calculated, it was about a $250,000 increase for the budget that, that they have presented currently. That puts us around, if, if we change the numbers, the level, so the Finance Committee is going to recommend level funding the local aid portion, the unrestricted local aid, and accepting the number from the governor's budget for the Chapter 70 increases as well as the number that they have for the veterans' benefits. But also take into account the lower charter tuition reimbursement. Yes. But basically, the, the, what was the old lottery money is now just basically you use it the way you want to money, and we're going to keep that. It's about a $29,000 $29, increase. Is that the charter money you're talking about? No, right. from the lottery. Right. It, right. So I, I don't, from what I've seen so far, the deficit the state's in, I don't think that's actually going to appear. Deficit? That's not deficit. Well, I mean, he's saying, it, I, I saw some of it, Charlie sent it over, that, and I saw some of it that, you know, that he has increases, but it's it's not a well, it's a, reasonable. Well, it's about, about $29,000, and right now, I think it makes more sense to just zero out that increase and plan for no increase in that line. So when we look at the deficit that we're currently in, it's about $230,000 before we have the civil aid increase. If you add the civil aid increase, you're adding $250,000 to the deficit, so we're at $480,000 for deficit. Yeah, so what I asked Sandy to do this morning is to adjust for the things okay. and to put the new elementary school budget, although it's not... Did we get one for Is that we conservative? Got, we got... We, what we got... Um, it, that's... I'm just going to just update the number quickly because the elementary school passed out just the front part of yeah. the new budget last Monday. Okay. It wasn't officially voted, but it was lower than the previously printed one. Okay. So we know that it's probably not going to go up. So I said to Sandy, why don't you plug that in so we can see what that does to the deficit. Okay. So if we adjust the revenues and we put in the new amount for the elementary budget and we take 10000 from the police wages. Yeah. What revenues are we adjusting? We're adjusting the state revenue, which is the, what they just explained. Like only using certain things that Charlie Baker said. Then we'd be in a hundred and forty-five thousand dollar deficit, and which then you'd wishful. add mm -hmm. the two fifty. Yeah. So then we would be on close to four hundred. Yeah, we'd have four hundred instead of over. So three ninety. So three ninety-five of, of yeah. deficit. So from the perspective of coming from this deficit, I believe that our assessment needs to be level funded from Silver Lake. At least, because then we'd still be looking for 145000 Right. But we could get there if for some reason circuit breaker money comes back at 60%, yeah. then we can adjust it. And again, that new elementary budget included the adjustment to 
vocational education. They did lower it down. So that we can't save anything there because we just did it. So, so at, the, at the Monday night meeting on the 16th, we have both elementary and civil aid members of Halifax coming to our meeting at 745. Oh, okay. And the superintendent and assistant superintendent are going to, going to try to attend, but they'll possibly be late. I'm going to drag just because that's the 40B hearing. I kind of wanted to go to who's, that. Side. Who's there soon? Is that the preliminary, the first? Yes, it's kickoff? the first of the ZBA. Okay. Times, yeah. So, um, so, what times your meeting start? And what other appointments do you have? Seven, seven o'clock is our first. It's what time we start, and seven forty-five is the appointment that we have with Civil. That we don't have any other appointments scheduled for that night right now. So I'm just suggesting the ZBA is that Black Lake. Mm -hmm. If we meet, if we meet, if we can come in and get this new member. We meet and greet and then appoint, and Charlie confirms with with uh, John, Bruno. John Bruno. Then at least you'll have one more member. You can get us in at the outside of the meeting. Yeah, but yeah. Would we'll start at seven and, and, and go for seven as well. As long as John is available for seven, we'll go with seven for here. We just need one person, however, the three of you here for that meeting oh, okay. at seven oh. to to, no, to nominate. And, right. Okay. Uh, unless you guys are going to interview. That's true. Right. Yeah, that's true. Right. That's why I was thinking. No, you're right. We should trust you. You can trust us, but I, I mean, you're the appointing her as well, so. Yeah, and you've already interviewed, and uh, your level is comfortable. You are, yeah, she, so. she's okay. a registered voter, and she has a heartbeat, and that's what we're looking for right now. Oh, stop. Stop. In, in an interest. She knows one and one is in an interest. Okay, so what else? No, I, I'm just saying that we. we okay. Are hurting because we we haven't had quorum because one or another member hasn't been able. We've had snowstorms. I mean, this yeah. is really. I know it's been a very difficult time, and I've been going having a little anxiety over it just because I see this deficit, and you know, it's really hard because people have had their issues and so, haven't been able. So basically, well, there's a lot of issues this winter. Yeah. So, so this this number again is without snow and ice deficit. If there's a snow and ice deficit, this right now, according to Sandy, there still isn't. Um, she has got all the bills in from Melissa Trainer over the highway department, but currently the actual balance that we've got is still in the okay. So I would also say that that probably means, unless we go through a March that was January, February, it, and if we have a deficit, it will not be as significant in relation to the other communities, both because we budget properly and second, they seem to spend a lot more money per mile on road work. I think too is they maybe had more access to salt deliveries, which we haven't had any. The bonds have been empty a lot of times. Can, can we talk about the philosophy of, of the Silver Lake assessment in the sense of we sent a directive to, to all the departments and I, I just want to be clear that we're not going to treat one department differently than others. That we, you know, there are going to be things within their budget that they're going to have to have increases on. Steps and lanes, Health insurance. Yeah, we get that. No, but I'm saying if we level fund, are we treating them differently than we would any other department? Well, That's actually, the thing is, if we're at level assessment, us. Yes. That doesn't mean the other two towns are at level assessment. In fact, their assessments will still go up a considerable right. amount. They may not be willing to spend the at the le same level that we'd be at level. But for the moment, let's say we're assuming we're level. It doesn't, their budget still can be up, even if we're in level. No, I understand. I just don't want, saying, I want to make sure we're not laying off. Those. Yeah, I'm, like I'm just those. saying, I don't want to start laying off at Silver Lake when we haven't well, held that same standard well, to other departments. Well, I would also say that the, I'm not aware whether they voted a three-year for Silver Lake for their wages. Okay, if, they, if they've already done that, and other, we're asking other departments to hint to, hold the line at zeros and asking our union people and our non-union people We're asking and they've made the decision we have no control over it but they made a decision that they wanted to spend more money on wages we can't just as we can't say to them um here you know spend it here spend it there <coughs> they can't tell us you must give us this money okay because I mean, we're asking them to do something. They made a decision same. without it our work. consultants yeah. doing anything. They, well, they, no, need, I mean, we they need to be revenue. They need, 
they need to have a revenue driven budget, not an expense driven budget. If the three towns can only come up with a certain amount of money, they're bound to that. If they've made bad decisions or decisions that we disagree with, maybe they don't consider them to be bad decisions, but ones that put them financially in a tough place, they have to handle the consequences. But take that aside. I know yeah. how you feel about that, but let's take, take the contract aside. There's going to be increases <clears throat> for health insurance right. and regular steps and lanes. And so those, I just like to be consistent. As much as I would like it to be level funded because it, it helps with our, our budget, what I'm saying is what we've told the elementary school mm -hmm. is give us this. This is the directive from us. Give us this number. Mm -hmm. If you feel confident that that's the number we've gotten so, from all the departments, and then we see the deficit, and then I, we go, okay, I we got to go back over. I don't want to disagree with you on that, but yeah. we still haven't got the original assessment right. no, number. I understand. So I know. It, it is going to be different at right. this point in time. Okay. So we that's need to get fair. that number from them. Oh. We need to come back. We're going to meet that Monday night and say, this is where we are. It would be actually be really great if you guys all could come to that meeting to give you just a quick update right? to say this is where we are. Right, because all we're looking at right now for them is their first draft, which is everybody in the room said we're not, we know we're not we're talking getting talking to the meeting on the 16th? Yeah. Finance year yeah. 16. I'm just going to put so, this Monday. Monday. Coming Monday. So, so basically, we're in a hole. The hole's going to get deeper, and we're going to have to talk about what we previously talked about, what the priorities are with the selectmen. We're going to actually have to start getting into the yes. budget and say, okay, this is where we're going to propose cuts. You know, there was one, I thought about this after the meeting, you know, thinking about this and then going to sleep thinking about it and having nightmares and dreams. And there was one department I thought if we could not touch or hurt would be council on aging. Cause I mean, they're the ones I think would be the one that I would say not to ask or handle them differently than all the other departments. Um, I know it's a little change from what I had said before, but I just kept thinking about think about it. Council on Aging. So, me. so when you that's look, just mine. I mean, uh, I'm, okay. But when you look at the budget, right? We've said that police, fire, right. and dispatch are untouchable, basically. Um, we, we, I, I, we know what we know what their portion of the budget is. We know the two schools are about fifty-five to fifty-eight percent. You, you know that fires eight hundred thousand to nine hundred thousand. Police is about a million point one. Dispatch is about three hundred thousand. I never said that those departments are untouchable. I, I said, let's see what they come up with, see what they can come up right, with. Right, and they yeah. did come up with it, and they met with finance, and we did come up with 10000 on the police side. So, so basically, I, right. I mean, I, I, think, I, I don't think know if it's a big, big thing over there, but, you know, to me, that's something where I changed my mind on that one department. That's all. Okay. I, so I, I just want to let you know that. I just think Whether it means a snow, uh, what if, I can't say that, in a snowbank. I just think when we look at where we are, we're going to know where we are as a town on Monday. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have to make choices as a group. What does the Finance Committee make as recommendations, recommendations to the town? And it's okay if we disagree between what the selectmen and the finance to see as the priorities. I, I understand we could disagree on that. But just we, we have to realize where we are. So. Will we, will we be comfortable with the numbers come Monday? Those are pretty close to well, what well, we're going to get. The, the, big, the big issue. You know, as far as we're, we're, gonna, we're looking at it as tight, tight as it is, and, you, and it can only get better, not worse. Gordon, is that the numbers we're going to be looking at kind of any, Monday? any other department resubmitted their budget? I know police did, but any other department resubmit their budget? I don't believe so. Right. So you haven't yet met with any department heads or voted any budget. So we don't really know because you guys haven't even gone through. The only thing we've gone through is the water department. You went through water, police, fire, and dispatch yeah. and, and water. But you haven't gone through the others to see if there's any savings in those line items. No. So we don't, we're not going to really know on Monday is my but point. We're going to know probably how... The, the worst but you've gone yes. through the bigger ones. Yes, the percentage. If yeah, you've gone through the bigger yes. ones, so the little ones aren't going to make a big difference. No, yeah, they, they they're going to they're going to help, but they're not. Yeah, they will. It'll, it'll decide whether it tips it. Well, I mean, it's going to be like it's, it's going to be like Halifax um, and, and lights. 
do we do we have the overtime in the police budget or or is that what we items did take, like that yeah, yeah. Do we take it up and yeah pretty much we've already taken it up so are we going to fund the five hundred dollars for the garden club or the right. uh, those type of th things that's what right that's and we had somebody from community. This they were in here last. Community. Community. They were in here last uh, meeting too, which they were hoping. So, for the five thousand yeah. dollars. Yeah, but they said they'll any contribution would be. And I, we need to remember that we're going up to the levy. Like. Yeah, and yes, and people need to be aware that their tax bills are going up by four and a half percent, and we're still looking at cuts. Right. On the average one. That's okay. the average number. Well, thank you for that. No, no, I think it's important to talk about so that people are aware of the fact that, you know, we have been managing the budget very well, and we had this unexpected $450,000 increase on special education, and that's why we're in the position that we're in, and, and we we're trying to if, navigate around it. And we won't know if that possibly will change till when? Well, that, that number, the best that that, that number is going to change is it's maybe $40,000. Yeah, for circuit breaker reimbursement. 40000 That's... So. The only that's the only relief that you might I mean, see there. Sure, people could leave. But the thing is the same that door swings both ways. It could actually somebody get come worse. Up, somebody else right. could come into town and if somebody else No, I'm just trying to find to you know out. that I'm sorry. That's all right. I, I'm just you know, what is the worst and back up from there? And I think that's what we've always done before. Yeah. Looked at the worst and that's how we've been able to have this position the town has been in. For all these years during this right. downswing. Anyways, we good. <laughs> so, so Monday we should have an update for you. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, Make Gordon. every effort to be there. Good. See you Thursday. And, it, and if you can come uh, Thursday at five, I think it would be greatly appreciated from the residents, or at least for this from this finance committee member, to see our selectmen at that meeting. So that it's more than just five o'clock or six. Both. Yeah, both actually. Five and six in the long run. Or if you cannot make one, make one of them. Yeah. Right. Are they feeding us at that time? No, just they might be cookies. cookies. Yeah, they might be cookies. That's about it. No, not my, not my I'm diabetic. I can't eat the cookies. The, on, the only reason why I'm saying this is that um, the more voices that the school committee they're hears, sick of me. So, so we have to talk. <laughs> we um, have to talk to. They're it. sick of me. <laughs> I, I, I would. We actually have to. No, just, you just put your hand on Gordon's shoulder and say, I stand with Gordon. <laughs> I stand behind him. So I'm not throwing anything. I stand behind him. I stand behind him. You think it's just you? No, no. I, I'm just saying that, that there's the members who show up to this meeting seem to be getting discounted in the message that we're sending to the committee. It's been said repeatedly. By, by who? We, by the members of the committee. We've had people come and talk with us and say, well, you know what, I have people on the school committee, for instance, on the capital projects, that they wanted to simply come right back and submit another budget for $619,000, despite the fact that you had two overwhelmingly no votes in Clinton right. and Halifax. There was, yes. those people are not listening. Yeah. He's he's not. They, they wanted they wanted to turn around and do vote. Do we do kneecaps? They wanted to turn around and vote at six nineteen. Nancy Kerrigan, Kerrigan, what's her oh, name? Please like? stop, please. So I, I'm just saying. I, no, that I, I, right, you can I come, That your your attendance should help make a difference. That's all. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Gordon. Thanks, yeah. Gordon. <laughs> Hold up the wall for a second. Okay. That cost you extra. Uh, well, All right. <laughs> what put it into my tank. Let's start from the beginning. Thank you, guys. Okay. Bye, Gordon. Thanks, Gordon. Thank, yeah. Thanks for, uh, you know, it's a thankless job, but thank you anyways. You're so I'm thanking you. So it's not as much of a thankless. It's an hour and a half. Okay. Still, still pretty thankful. <laughs> Like, <laughs> like the move, like the, like the move that we approved the minutes from regular session December 9, 2014, and January 28, 2015. Second. Uh, We're on a fast track now. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. All right. <laughs> I'd like to move to approve the payroll warrant number 70 for $380,411.32. Vendor warrant number 73 for $294,230.32. <clears throat> School warrant number 74. Hmm. 
for $267,304.82 and an ambulance commitment to B for $30,387.46. Second. Any further discussion other than police payroll warrant number 70? I am not abstaining from it. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, one second. Wasn't there one last? That was week? the one. That was that, the one? That was the one, yeah. That was, that was from last week. Oh, okay. Beautiful. You are good. Okay. All right, sorry. I move to approve the payments of the following warrants and commitments. Payroll warrant number 75 for $352,516.09. Vendor warrant 76 for $1,235,259.06. And withholding warrant number 77 for $127,780.41. And Mobile Park fee number three for $5,160. Second. Any further discussion? Other than warrant 75 police payroll? I am standing from it. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, Selectman's bills um, for the audit. $3,000 from Les Malloy and Marini. Law account, uh, the Reese's, attorney Lawrence Mayo, Michael Gilman, Esquire, for an aggregate total of $2,474.53. And this is for professional services for land use, general counsel, and labor counsel. Okay, youth and rec concession expenditures, $22.39, and that's for National Grid and Lights Electricity. Town Hall Electricity, $1,767.06, and that is for the monthly electrical bill for Town Hall. That completes the presentation for bills. Do we have a second? Second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I'd like to acknowledge the Selectman's payroll week ending 3715 for $6,229.64 and acknowledge the following turnover uh, for 2015 61, $1,174. And I think that completes the uh, presentation. Is this revised? Are these revised budgets? No, those are the original set. Oh, they are. Okay. Do we got a new set? No, well, we didn't you have got, you got, the you original. Got a, yeah, the, the first set was a much larger set. Right. And then you got a second set, which is additional budgets that you hadn't done in the first okay. round. I lost my folder. I thought I might have left it here. I didn't leave my folder, Manila folder, or anything. Yeah. So, the dog ate my homework. <laughs> All right, um, proceed. Okay, um, <clears throat> just a reminder on the fiscal 14 audit, we need everybody to complete the uh, related party and fraud questionnaire. I think I did mine. Can I do my own right on it? I don't know, Mike, I know you always, that's when we I never do my homework. Mike, inside. Well, it's one of the last pieces that needs to get done just for us to get the audit back. You know what about it? I thought I thought maybe, maybe. Well, there, there was a bunch of things that I had to go over to Charlie with the last time to answer it. Mike, yours is in the, behind the ring. Is that yours? Mm -hmm. If I have to give me a call. Can I think that? Something you added in here? That was there before. You gave me another copy. I gave you another copy. If you need another copy, I can give you another copy. <laughs> Don't give him another copy. Right here. And if you need another copy, no, is there another copy? No, it's oh, okay. <laughs> is that the one I'm going to fill out? Yes. <laughs> All right. Don't run off at the end of the meeting. Help me finish this, and I'll get it done. How's that? Hi. Sounds good. A deal. We can make that deal. No. South Coastal uh, County's Legal Services, the um, organization submitted a, a petition article for 3500 They're interested in meeting the Selectman and or Finance Committee to provide more information if the court wants to meet with them. Or I can just refer them to the Finance Committee. I don't know what. Okay, these are one of the two. And these are one of the two typical organizations. You usually get them every year. And, every year. and, and the they, next they, one is the same. We used to have three. Well, the community yeah, action was the third. Action. That was the third. And that, that was only for a couple of years, yeah. and then they stopped submitting the petitions. The two South Shore Women's Association South Shore. So, legal Coast services, are you interested in meeting with them? No. I'm not, because we no, it's the same article we talk about every year. I can refer them to the Finance Committee. I would think. What did we do, for the, do last year? Do we approved it. 
For 35? I believe so. Are we yeah. able, uh, do we also do that to sell your woman? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, are we able to do that this year? I don't well, know if we, we will. We don't know. Yet. Uh, we we can call them if we'll we can. find out. But I mean, I certainly would like to add, add these to the list. They did meet with us. Sorry, Mr. Troy. You can always catch it on cable. I did. Oh, good. Uh, is this it's up to the board to make that decision? They did not submit a petition or article. If the oh, board they did. Wants oh, I thought they did. They All did right, we were just talking about this one. Yeah, I'm taking one at a time. So How much what, time do we have to, to, to allow them to put it on there? More. Don't worry, we don't have a petition. Great. Let me, let me get one thing heard. I will send legal services to the finance committee. Yes? Okay. Yes, please. Yes, okay. yes. South Shore Women's Resource Center sent in their petition late. They sent it in on March 4th, which was after the deadline. If the board wishes to, it could reopen the warrant, put the article in, and then close the warrant again. Um, well, isn't that open anyways? No, it will close March 1st. Automatically? Okay. Yes, by bylaw. Oh, oh, we already voted that. Did we vote? No, vote? But by, no. by town bylaw, the annual town meeting warrant closes on March 1st. The board has on occasion, in fact, most years, has voted at various times to reopen the warrant if it wishes to. It can do so today if it wishes to put this arc on the warrant. The other possibility is to put on a special town meeting warrant, but then it really is the board's article because it would require 100 signatures to get on the special. Or it could tell South Shore Women's Center, sorry, you, you were too late. You either have to get the 100 signatures by the 24th or you're out of luck. Yeah. I think we could open the warrant. We could open it with no promise of funding. Right. But well, I think all, all, we do, all we're doing is, is allowing, yeah, we're allowing them a hearing on yeah. it. But I'll go put a time. I, I, I would second the motion that we open the warrant and place it on it. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, so we're going to put that close it. on it. I make a motion that we close it. Well, I think can, can we put this one? I'd like to put this one also with the same contingency. If there's no money, there's, we don't have any money. Um, South Shore Community Action Council. Sure. Second. So are you okay with that? Sure. Second. Third. 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 All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Motion. Make you a motion to close the warrant. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Close. Okay. Finance Committee, Karen Favors resigned her seat due to unforeseen family needs. The board could send her a note. I'll make that motion that we send a letter to Karen Favor thanking her for her service for the town of Halifax. Oh, wholeheartedly second that. I, uh, I think she was really uh, a, and a good asset for the Finance Committee. I mean, she was, mm -hmm. that's the type of people you need on the Finance mm -hmm. Committee. She's very awesome. passionate and very strong. You know, with her opinions and for the she was in, and plus she was very knowledgeable about what was going on. Yeah, and, 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 yeah. and I haven't missed that. Yeah, me too. Seriously. So all those in favor? Aye. Um, Deb Kesey has resigned as a full time well as a member of the um, Halifax and Lights. I think I was wrong. I think we have three people, not two, but that's still not a quorum because we needed four at the very least. Because it's what seven. No, 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 seven no. person committee. I, um, Joy Marble asked me to do, get some PR out and put it on the website. I've sent a note out to the local media. Um, I've sent something out the news and notices. I know on their ha Facebook page, the Halifax and uh, Lights Facebook page, they put a note up asking for member, you know, volunteers to serve on the committee. We're at, basically, folks, if you want Halifax and Lights to occur this year, we need more volunteers serving on the committee. Please call the selectman's office. It's 781-294-1316 if you're interested in serving on this committee. It's actually on a Saturday this year or Friday? Well, no, they don't, we don't even have a date. No, I mean, 4th of July is, I believe is, is a not, Saturday. Is not in the middle of a I, week. It's actually on a weekend. Right, which, but there have been a number of years they've not held it on the 4th. It's not sure that... No, but it makes it more, I think, a I better event, that a better event being actually... Yeah, on. I mean, we've, over the last few, well, I would say at least the last three years, we've held it on a Saturday before. Or right. We or typically do, except yeah. for our, our yeah. anniversary. Just because it costs us more to do it on the fourth. Yeah, well, if, yeah, if there's enough volunteers on it, that well, they could make that well difference. I, I, I think we ought to send a letter to Miss to Deb asking if she would in fact still consider. I know she says that she should volunteer, but yeah. thanking her for the service and, and hoping she will continue to volunteer in some some capacity. She's resigning as a full time member. Well, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's help, willing to help out, but can't serve with the community. Right, okay. Now. So. Second. What was the motion? Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. Uh, we appreciate your, your help. 
Um, Mark Agnan, who lives on uh, Firefly, Firefly Road, wrote a thank you note to the board ceasing the uh, Halifax Highway and Fire Departments for assisting him in a medical emergency back on February 2nd. Um, obviously, they've already been CC, but the board could send a note to the fire chief and to the highway surveyor thanking them for Kudos. the department's efforts. So moved. Second. Yeah, it's so nice to see all the departments intertwining and helpful. And it was nice that, that they brought that to our attention. I thank them. So, any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Done that. Four goes. Oh, you have them? Oh, yeah. And we have to make a decision this week because we're going to press at the end of this week. I think Troy marked what he was interested okay. in the front and back. I think, right. did I respond to you? Well, this is I kind of, these are the same. Yeah, that's right. Right. Yeah, I responded by I email. I think so, but yeah. I would remember which sunset you liked. I'll write it. Right. Did you write yours? I sent in an email, but I already know which one it is. Oh, I don't. We want to write it on the ones you. Yeah, I did this one. I just looked at them. My one of my computers got eaten by some vicious. And then I like this one. I don't know why I really. And they've been working off, you know, shuffling back and forth and sticks and I think my stick is going to wear out. Yeah, I like that one. I don't know why I like that one. This is welcome. <laughs> you know what's funny is having that sign up and it had to be up in December and yet like there's no that. snow on the ground. I like this one, but I didn't have that. I didn't know I was in Halifax. Is that a sunset or a sunrise? That's a sunset? Or is that a sunrise? That's a, that's a sunset. It could be either way. Does it matter? Yeah, it could be what time way. of day you saw it. Oh, uh, yeah. I go like up in the inside. Sunrise, sunset. Let me get the mic. <laughs> I told her you'd be saying either either way. I looked at it as a new day. Yeah. <laughs> or a new night. I like this, but I feel like we've already had that. I think there has been one. Actually, yeah, there was one. Was. Yeah. yeah. It's a beautiful. The lovely the snow, yeah, picture you know? of the church. Yeah. I think Maria might have taken that because I think she had something similar on Facebook from the council on aging. I kept grabbing for my pen. I can't find this stupid thing. I, I don't know. I like the car. I like this one. Which, but they 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 look to be back. So I'm looking for the front, and that one kind of looks for the front. You guys already signed it. Yeah, that's what I wanted for the front. Charlie's got the hot. Charlie's got the hot coffee. Don't worry, we're writing on it. I don't know. I like this one. Are we, are we going to do one in the front and one in the back? Come on, you got to help me out there. Well, they, no, they've got a front. Yeah, the this front. Is, this oh, is our, front. I, 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 I didn't even notice the second. We, 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 we got a front. front. Now, the right. problem is right now, each of them have chosen I could move back. to the. I could move to this one. I did like this one. The only reason I didn't pick it, I couldn't tell I was in Halifax, but I like the picture. I'm not changing. That's I, nice. I'm going to go with that. You never do. You're firm, fair, firm, and consistent. Consistent. <laughs> <laughs> I like the cast. You know, in the background, the side, I really did not good pictures. Yeah, any more to be really even tougher. Thank so God. I kind of, I kind of like this one. Thank God. So we gotta. That's fine. I'll switch to this one. All right. I switched for fire chief for you. You're yeah. gonna do the back. <coughs> right. Huh? Cool. Again. That was a pretty good trade for me. <laughs> Okay, so the board, the board officially is saying this is the front and this is the back. back. All right, moving right along. Can you write some of these down, sir? Yeah. Oh, I will contact the folks who um, sent them. Oh, yeah. uh, they're making unanimous. I'll go with that. Sure, you want to hang on to these ones? Sure. We definitely want to do front and back. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Um, when when is the cutoff? End of this week. Okay. Troy's going to do. Yeah, it's, it's the end I'm of the No. I mean, I did that again. Yeah, it has to be to the printer by Friday. Yeah, yeah I know, but I've asked Charlie. Yes. Okay. He's, but I, but he's you right. think that Bob's probably a good day to get everything together. And I know. I, okay. Can't I've been just a, lock me down. <laughs> don't give me any more calls. Do that. Because I want everybody, everybody needs to look at this. Everybody needs to look at this. Okay, so let's move along, please. 
Beautification come in? I'll, I'll, I'll yeah. Okay. Um, I'm still going to try to get the um, yeah. safety traffic. Charlie, I've you been working midnight for the past ever. Okay. Traffic is safe. Had a okay, beautification committee and such. There's some details from Mr. Kessinger along with a very, I, I guess, elaborate note. Okay, so we get time on that. We, we, we go, there's that? too much snow, so you're not going to. Okay. I mean, we'll we'll say, the minute I start seeing crocuses, I'll start right. worrying about the I'll make a motion that we um, abate the ambulance um, fees on February, February 2015 for 11938019 Second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? I, I right. just had to make up some time. The board Sorry. previously keep going. keep going, keep going. The board previously um, yeah. agreed this proposal. We got it signed off. This is with the fire department establishing lieutenant positions, not additional staff. Right. Two people would move up from full time firefighters to full time lieutenant firefighters. With it. So we're not increasing staff, right. we're just moving two of the people. Um, the board, it's contingent upon town meeting approval. Right. So right. simply because the board's signing it off tonight doesn't mean it's happening. It would right. only be A, effective if town meeting approves it. B, go, that's um, Jeff's. I know, don't worry, just sign. Where do we sign? Pick, pick a line. Anyway. Oh so we need to get a, have a motion to sign the phone yes. Second. Any further discussion? This is on the... Uh, Establishing uh, the position of full-time lieutenant with the, inside the bargaining unit. Um, again, it doesn't increase the number of staff members in the as full-timers. It would simply move two of them to um, lieutenant status. Who signed that? That was Jeff. Who's that? He's going to fix that. <laughs> Really? I mean, come on. We're good. Come on, Jeff. Can um, I date it? Yes, go ahead, please. Did you get all the table? Uh, Blackledge, yes, they all said yes. Blackledge Farm Chapter 40, the technical assistance grant application was approved. Now the award letter needs to be signed by the chair with the approval of the board. So moved. Second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? And all for right. our uh, non studio audience, we do have a Chapter 40B hearing for the Blackledge Farm Burt Project 52 single family houses off of Franklin Street. That is this coming Monday, March 16th, upstairs in the Great Hall at 7 o'clock. Uh, it's a public hearing. You're invited to be there. You're invited to participate. So it's not the 7? Yeah. And it's what property? This is the Blackledge Farm property off of Franklin Street. It's exactly the that it was 6. I think. On the 16th? On the 16th, I think they have earlier hearings to do with other matters, and then at okay. 6.45, they're dealing with a waiver um, of some financial stuff. If I, and then the, this meeting starts at 7. Yeah, I will okay. go back no, to the board and check. But I don't need to sign this. Uh, motor vehicle incidents involving the fire department. Other mm -hmm. people are hitting our vehicles. One was an ambulance on the 19th. The second was a fire chief's car on March 5th. There's no action for the board to take, but uh, everything's we're, we're, been reported. Emergency storm, are we out of order from the notes? Is that what's going on? Fire department accident reports. Emergency management snow We're not there yet. All right. We're, That's the next Oh, thing. I'm sorry. So accident reports are here um, on the... The chief's car was hit. Somebody um, swerved into his lane. Was hit. March 5th and C. No injuries? No. No, but the pictures you can see. He was highlighting the tire tracks. Somebody okay. all right, um, for the emergency For the emergency management, we're filing um, for all four storms now. Um, we'll see if we how much we get. Obviously, it would be great if we could get 75% reimbursement. Um, but it's not expected. we're not expected to get into the next fiscal year. So whatever money we've sunk into all this. Sure, we'll eventually we'll see away, it. Right. But will they go with FEMA after, or this is this yeah, this is going to FEMA. Uh, H, I thought H. Hema's going FEMA? to FEMA. Yeah, Hema's going to FEMA. Hema's going to FEMA, yeah. which is going to FEMA. Right. Well, isn't Hal, isn't H? H is Hal. Right? Hema right. is going to MEMA, who's Hema applying to FEMA. The request to MEMA. MEMA, which is Massachusetts, Massachusetts and, and they will go. Okay. They'll go to FEMA. I've given you some information about the proposed purchase of a recycling truck. Um, Did you? Yes, it's in your, should be in your folders. Okay. Um, yeah, and so if you have questions about it, they're coming in on the 24th. Oh, I thought it was this Wednesday. It's next mm -hmm. Their capital plan capital is, plan. capital yeah. plan next Wednesday. She's coming in to see capital plan next Wednesday. And then us. Oh, it's not this Wednesday. No, no. it's next Wednesday. For capital plan, but then she's For coming the to see you all yes. on the 24th. Right. Okay. Bring, it's like bring a big pictures of the truck. I got one right here. Look at that. Huh? Yeah, not colored though. It's black and white. He, he, he want, okay. 
But that's the truck, right? Yes. Well, that's one of the possibilities. Yeah, because possibilities. I think there's two different trucks there. Right. Crash the truck. OPEP Trust. Oh, just so I, I know I'm going. I don't know if anybody from the treasurer's office is also going. We had three people go to a different workshop on OPEP Trusts. This is the money we're setting aside for OPEP, and now we have to start thinking about investing it, which is, I'll get to that in a couple of minutes because that's been a holdover from a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, I like that holding pattern. Yeah. Chapter 32B, Municipal Health Insurance Reform. I'm going to ask the board to um, decide that two weeks from now they'll vote to accept sections 21 through 23. I have a, there's a big large packet of information, including the language of the sections and the state regulations concerning this. What this does is it doesn't mean, acceptance does that mean you're making any changes. It's the first step in making changes if at some point in the future the board wishes to do that. So all, all we're doing now is accepting the rules and regs surrounding yep. it, so in case we do change that right. in the future. And yeah. I am going to suggest, however, in the, if we can do it for this coming year, that we a number of years ago, we signed whole harmless agreements because Mayflower Municipal Health Group had changed the copay slightly on our plans. We, um, the settlement was basically we're going to have those plans in place, but people who had a lot of copays and deductibles, if their the increase in their copays and deductibles was more than offset or less than offset than by the decreases in the premiums, we'd give them some money back. We've been doing that for a number of years, but I don't. We've been now running the current plans for a number of years, also. I think it's time to get those contracts done um, and eliminated. It. It's not a major change. You'd probably be saving the town somewhere between five and ten thousand dollars a year. I'm not suggesting at this point trying, for instance, to do a major change of moving everybody to a less expensive plan. People's plans would stay exactly the same as they are now. So your recommendation is that we accept 21 through 23 right. section? Okay. Two weeks from now, and then I can talk with you all about possibly making that minor change. Okay, so you don't want us to move it tonight? No, because I can't. Try to read. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, was that part of what you were saying, adjustments because of the budget? Being yeah, so a few weeks ago I mentioned the possibility that if we wanted to do a very, very large change, this would be the first step in doing it, but um, I mean, I've not gotten anybody interested in doing that change of moving everyone to the less expensive plans. Well, I don't think you would be getting anybody interested. Well, but well, you're, you're you're saying you brought it up. Yeah. So it was, is this something that needs to be done in order to do that? It or is any, it? any change in the plans, we would need to do this. Okay. So what this does, at least sets it up so we've worked, gone through the first few steps of getting that done. So if some point, whether the minor change I'm suggesting or sometime in the future, a larger change, we've already gone through the first few steps of the process. Mm -hmm. um, recycling abatement. Uh, Mm -hmm. Number 2559. Yes. For fiscal year 2015, the person to customer of ABC disposal. The ABC verified that they were a customer participating in the recycling fee. The person is asking for an abatement of the annual fee of $38 for fiscal 15, plus a $5 late fee. So moved. Sir. And Pam, you've. you've it's following along the same. Yeah, well, you have to get that light from ABC. Right. Maybe whatever, not ABC. Yeah, ABC disposal. Okay. Reports, discussions, is that one of them? Yeah, it's in the very back of that. Okay. Yeah, it's in this blue section. I can yeah, see it all the way in the, the back. All the way. Oh, it's in the back. Oh, there it is. I'll play it listed on the agenda. And they know it's supposed to be paid, and then I mean, everybody just knows that, right? Well, we tell them that. Well, they, they didn't finish the committee. They sent in the mail. Is that what we got in the mail? Yeah. Well, my dad, yeah. Well, I think they. I think it went to the collector's office first. I think the so collector's they office got it. Yes. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> hmm. Okay. I know. I just. Yeah. The late fee. You know, it's supposed to be paid and then dispute it. This oh, is, nobody we needs to pay things like that more than me. All right. Any further discussion? Are you still in favor? 
Yeah, Aye. they already moved and second. Yeah. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Green communities. Was that oh. aye, Troy? That was an air. Air. I make a motion that we um, authorize the chair to sign all the green communities grant paperwork. Second. Okay, hold on. Now. Bunch of paperwork yeah, ready to sign, chairs. Yep. Yeah. What is the green? Yeah. This is the. Oh, that's the one you went in the Boston. And right, that's the big check. Yeah. Right. Okay. Just this, um, a couple of days ago, we got the approval. We had it. We did that. Yeah. Submit what your which plan was. was and right. then so we got certified as a green community. The next step was to submit the grant application for money that we were eligible for. That application went in in the middle of January. Just a couple of days ago, I got notification that we're approved for the grant application. So in order to move forward. We need to um, get all the grant agreement stuff signed off. These are for two projects over at the elementary school. One to change the thermostats, and the second to change the lighting. And I believe, Michael, all the signatures are for you, except the one that says McSherry on it, which okay. you can sign off as a notary. Does uh, so all of this so far is the lighting and thermostat at the school? At the school. There's no right. other. There are no other projects that will be using this money. Ever? No, this is so this, this particular money bundle that we've got. Future years, we will be able to apply for what are called competitive grants, and if we get that money, we'll be able to do further projects. So, how big was that check? One hundred and fifty-four thousand. And that's what, that's what that's what the that's what it's going to cost to change over all those the lights. The and the lights. Yeah, yeah, but we're going to save a lot of money in the long run on utilities. But that's a lot of money for that's lights money. and switches. Mm -hmm. Well, as you can you can well, imagine, well, the day cost you what five bucks for yeah. and that's a just one there. Oh, and yeah, yeah, there are a lot of lights. It's a big building. And yeah. what do they anticipate for? About thirty thousand total. Something like that per year in savings. Yep. Thirty thousand a year. Thank you, Charlie, for getting that done. I know it was not easy on top of everything else you did. It's really gets the big bucks for it, right, Charlie? Happy to do it. He got a few doughs in there, too. All right, Charlie X, don't, don't get them upset. We'll all disappear. Okay. Um, bum, 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 water bum, tank bum, emergency. Pop for hops. We talked about water tank emergency communication. The fire chief had sent a letter to the water commissioners asking that in their budget for the, and in the bid specs, that um, for the water tower, they include five uh, thousand dollars for installing what's called an outrigger and mounting the three public safety guys. Basically, it's their outrigger from the tower. The communication companies don't have room on what they're going to be doing as an alternate tower, in essence, while this work's being done to put the emergency communication services on. So the fire chief is asking that a structure be placed on the water tower while it's being painted to put the emergency communications antennas on that. Given that the town has had all the money for the cell towers and the, the, water, the, water, the water, water department, I think it's fair that um, $5,000 be spent. And it shouldn't even be that amount. That's I, I, mean, yeah, I was going to say, well done, some brackets. Yeah, it's not going to be that yep. amount, but we're putting that in just right. because. In case what, I, sure. what I'm recommending is the board send a letter to the water commissioner supporting the fire chief's letter. I'll make a motion that we do that. Second. And this is for his equipment? Police, police fire. fire. Which is already up there? Yes. Yeah. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Make sure Kim checks those signatures. I don't want to yelling at me tomorrow. Pam or Kim? Pam. No, 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 I'm doing it with you guys. You used to be yelling guys. at you. No, I'm doing it with you guys. <laughs> um, we talked about Black Ledge Farm, Halifax Golden, so, gold and Silver Coin Shop. Mr. Triamonte has been sent in relation about cost of obtaining a copy of the draft minutes from January 27th. I've not heard back from him. He did call on the 26th as a result of his complaint concerning the owner of the health club. I had sent him a letter. A copy of the letter was sent to that person indicating they should cease and desist in any such activities in Halifax. I've not had any other complaints, nor did he indicate any further problems there. He was complaining about the original flyer that had included that information. So that's where all that stands. Um, uh, Halifax. So these are in the. Why are they both under the same? Because he's the one mentioning this. The two things are under that because, yeah, it's all connected to him. Because he's because you're mentioning the... I talked, I talked to the owner of the health club about it, happened to run into him, and he said that the man was very rude on the day that he came down and said something to him. Mr. Sherman. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm, I'm just, not just excusing uh, rudeness or anything else, I'm not, but I'm, I'm not also saying, not... Uh, I'm just saying... You're not judging. not mediating between these parties, I'm just... 
<laughs> right to farm. Um, so you got enough between the three of us. Is there, Pam, is there um, any reason on that we can't? Where are these minutes? Oh, actually, yeah, those are the ones you guys just approved. Um, the 28th they ones. Would, of the, yeah, we, yeah, I had a draft because you guys hadn't approved them yet, but now tonight you guys just approved them. So. And, okay, and what so, I will do now is send him another letter saying now that the final version, the Approved oh, version okay. is done, okay. and he will get another way of saying here's how much it will cost, and he's free to come by, pay the money, and pick up a copy. I have one of my missing folders had a flyer that came out. You know those flyers that come out? The coupons is like mm -hmm. 50 of them. One of them was the... Which was the uh, starting point yeah. of the, his complaint. Well, this was, just came out. I just well, opened it, and there's, there's a flyer. I wanted to bring it in. I'll bring, show it, the then bring it back in again. I gotta go find okay. that and the okay. rest of it. Okay. But yeah, it just seemed yeah, okay. Uh, right to Farm Agricultural Committee, do you want to have a date for a public hearing public forum? I don't recommend the twenty fourth. I think we're starting to get overbooked. I think we should do a different day, maybe. Yeah, you may want to do it a different night. Because I'll tell you, I went to the um, Board of Health um, hearing the other night, mm -hmm. and the Great Hall was packed. Mm -hmm. So I think we should do a completely different day, because I think you're going to get a lot of participation. Is this the same thing? Uh, no, it's a little different. Um, this organization would like to be, would like us to become a right to farm. Um, community. Exactly. What is that? I mean, the people who have a right to farm put garden in their backyard as it is now. To yeah, because we're already architects. I know there's some fees or something involved. In well, no, it, it makes you create a, a, a commission, and there's a lot of positive, but then I've heard a lot of negative. So let's do a. a yeah, there forum. are three things happening. I believe the instigators for this are concerned of the potential Board of Health regulations concerning barns and barn inspections. Yeah. As a result, what they did was come and petition the town and the articles on the warrant for two things. One, to set up an agricultural commission, and then second, to pass a right to farm bylaw. Um, basically, in short, the right to farm bylaw says to everybody, hey, in Halifax, hey, you're in an agricultural community, live with it, sorry. I'm not joking, that's really what it comes down to. And, and if the wind blows off my yard because the cows are in their way, you, you get a problem. Yeah, well, you know, actually, you don't have a problem because no, you me. shouldn't complain about you it. You get a problem, you're going to live with it. Yeah. All right, so do you want to pick a day, Charlie? Um, do you want to do it on like a Wednesday night, like the 25th, like the next day? It's up to what the board's up to do. Michael's saying, I can't even come on Tuesday nights. No, no, no. I, it's okay. It's okay. It's just a forum on right to farm. Hey, I, what I'm, trying, taped, I'm, what sure. I'm trying to do is set a, set a, so that there can be some discussion about these things before town meeting. Because if we get to town meeting and that's when the discussion happens, I think there are going to be problems for that discussion. Not being for or against, it's simply that if we get lots of people asking lots of questions for which there are no answers. It's sort of a fair as a discussion at town meeting. I'd like to get that. Well, you know what we should do, Charlie? Because I also think because this tax bill is going to be going up, mm -hmm. I almost think we need to do a forum, a public forum to invite, because the Facebook will start getting busy soon. Mm -hmm. And you know, I don't really comment on there, but I would love right. to sit upstairs on a Wednesday and invite anybody who wants to come in to ask questions about the budget. Wasn't there two farms we were looking to do? A pro and con on the... Uh, that was on the... But that hasn't officially come before us yet. Which the, um, on the... Um, the um, park quest in the Common Core. The oh. park? No, I was thinking of the... Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the vote that doesn't matter? Yeah, that, that's about Common Core. Oh, I thought you meant the park. No, 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 no. Park the, is the... Is the abbreviation or is, acronym. Yeah. Um, we got a three-week... After this next meeting, we get three weeks till the meeting after. Can we put it in there? Do we? No, we don't. I don't think so. No, we don't. I mean, we I can do the 10th. We're the 10th, we the, 10th the 24th. Then we have three weeks to April uh, 14th, which is why so I own. After the next meeting, isn't there a three week? Yes, March 24th to April 14th. That's why I'm thinking that would maybe be a better. Yeah. I would ask you not to do it on the, not do these forms on the seventh because in fact the deadline for submitting the warrant to the press is the eighth. I'm going to be slightly busy. Yeah. If you want to do these After. on the thirty first no. or on the, and, you know, between the three week period. Well, then I would. Well, it's, you know, I'm. Well, if you're thinking, I don't know if you're thinking of a Tuesday or another date. Where's my calendar? 
So I was well. If it's different, then what does difference does it make? Whether it's different. I don't know if it makes a difference. I don't mind doing it. Like we could do it. We could do it Tuesday, March thirty first. One two twenty four. Which unless you want to wait until April after the one is printed. Actually, it's better the other way. Okay. Because our next meeting would be the seventh, so somewhere between. We could do the thirty first. No, we're meeting the fourth. We're meeting the. Meet the twenty four. Then we got the thirty first, and then the seventh. As possible. Fourteen twenty eight, and then it's the three. I don't see the three week. Yeah. So it's the fourth to the fourteenth. Charlie asked not it to be the seventh, so let's do the thirty first. Fourteenth. You're right. I'm sorry. It is. It is okay. I don't know why I thought the seventh. We drove the seventh. Right to farm. Is March thirty first. And what my plan would be to do is, it's a public forum, I think we lightly moderate it, but I think the main purpose is to it's allow to the proponents to come in, to explain those two articles, to for other people to ask questions and such, mm -hmm. go from there. Yep, I think so that's not necessarily to resolve anything. So yep. that'll just be that, that yes. no warrants, no bills, I no... Don't plan on it. Kim will, Kim will monitor the fist fights and I'll monitor the wrestling matches and then it should come up. And you're going to handle the uh, uh, Michael can handle Michael can handle how yeah. rules that are boisterous. So she's hand, she's handling the box and he's handling I'll, the wrestling. I'll send up one of my kids the for the martial art part. They're doing sticks, so okay. they can bring their sticks. And that's the new thing. I don't know. Thirty first is seven for this. Sorry. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. Um, boom boom boom. Clear conduct. Weeks? Do this in two. We'll talk about code of conduct in two weeks. For visitors, uh, Silver Lake Regional School District. Obviously, we talked about that already. Town report. We've talked about that. Um, still waiting to hear from the highways of Old Place. Facebook presence. I'll wait for OPEB Trust. Uh, this was a carryover from two weeks ago. We need to get those documents approved. Um, mm -hmm. I know they've been with the board for a number of weeks now. Both that and the investment policy. I didn't know if the board had questions or wanted to move ahead and approve them. Who came up with those? These were drafts that were then um, given to Attorney Mayo. He um, did some, uh, made some changes to them. You got both the uh, lined copies with all the cross outs and underlines showing the uh, deletions and additions, and then you got a clean copy. I'm comfortable in moving them, but. Well, one little more I read of it, I don't have any problems with it. I don't think I read it. But if you guys are comfortable with it, I mean, you can vote on it. I make a motion that we approve the OPEP trust. It, um, the trust agreement and investment, investment policy. policy. Okay. Second. Thanks. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All abstain. Um, just uh, there's a lot of no changes here. I'm waiting to hear people. Just so you know, on Lindy's, Lindy's did um, finish paying. Oh, good. Um, on the trash bags, so we're good there. Uh, swimming grant. I'm completing the paperwork for that. Working with Kathy Bryant since we got that award a few weeks ago. Um, cemetery space. John Peck had called me to indicate that if the town was interested, um, he might want be able to make a. Uh, Get a landowner make an offer to the town for space down on River Street to obviously it would be sold to the town at some price. But um, if the town is. I don't think there was a tremendous need, like Bob. No, I figure we're about 15 or 20 years away right yeah. now. Yeah. We were, are we that far away? At the rate we're selling plots, yes, we had about 100 plots left and we're selling about five per year. I think some of the problem is the double stacks, there's no singles, and that's why some. I think that's what slowed it. This would, op I think, this would open up to more single slots. I mean, I, I wouldn't refuse to look at it. If no harm in looking, I yeah, can, uh, no. ask them. I, I mean, I myself, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm gone, I'm gone. But you know, the kids and all right, who's on top? Who's that's who's on second? And you know, who's on third? Well, it's obviously it's not the need, tradition that I'm used it's to. Obviously, a need, even though it's going to be a time out. But I think I might agree with Mike that. When they started double, double stacking, you know, and you didn't have a say as who was going to be stacked. Or not well, be. I think you do. Uh, I'm sure, yeah, they can move you, but I don't know. It's just to me, it's uh, it's kind of creepy, anyways. To talk about. It, I mean, <laughs> it wouldn't hurt, I, you know, to, to look at it, but you know, just to shut it down altogether. I don't know. I don't know. 
I see. No I problem think that it behooves us that anything that positive that comes up, we ought to take a look at it and let the town decide on it. It's their decision anyway. And I mean, this, it, maybe it doesn't have to decide this year. Maybe they'll, it'll still well, be there next I don't year. Think we're, I don't think we're going to have to get this for town meeting. Oh. Whatever. All right. Is it okay with the Board of Good Contact, John? Sure. Yeah. Uh, BMI. At some point, I'm going to need to either have a... It's kind of about my weight. <laughs> Isn't that a bike spike? You know, how the, the BMIs, when they race the bikes? The BMX. Bicycles? Oh, that's BMX. No, I'm like then, one cheese curl uh, away from OB, so okay. I, I, <laughs> Just remember those gymnasts were also in the same You've heard that song, right? They used to ask questions. Sorry, I just had my hand on the show. Who's BMI? Can you remember that? That's the music folks. Oh. Right, I know. Did the board of select... The, 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 see, now I'm calling the finance committee the board of selectmen. The finance committee hasn't had any reaction yet. Okay, so I just... You know me. I just want to pay it because I hate not paying something I'm supposed to pay. I, I, but, I agree, but, you know, I, I just... It just rubs. No, I know. It, that's it, okay. It you rubs can, me. That's, that's all. It just rubs me. I agree, but it, yeah, it's one of those cool. ones that. Troy, what about the BMX? What do you think? With all the stuff that's being put on. Oh, I had the question. Facebook and everything else, without people going through. No, why do we have to pay? You know what they're doing. <laughs> And you know, I noticed this because now one of my computers are, and it has nothing to do with this. But they get these kids to go on these sites for free music, and then it destroys their computers because they shouldn't get paid for it. Right. That's what a lot of these crashes are. That you was must like have had that. Years ago. Huh? <laughs> well, also, no, this is happening no. now. No, it's also sort of more the uh, mouse trap. Not by BMI or anybody necessarily. No, I'm not saying them. I'm just saying. I understand, but kids, you know, free music. They go in, they look at it, and then they get a virus on their computer because yeah. that's what they're actually selling are viruses. Yes. Yep. And it's malware. very painful. And the computer. Don't work. I saw this on the meeting space thing. The next thing. I don't know. Uh, well, can we stay with BMI for a minute? I know. I don't have the. I don't. I, I, I do. I mean, I, I got to make it. I mean, I'm fine with not putting it on. I not, in the sense that I just need a decision. I think it should should be put on. Let the people decide. Yes. All right. I'll go and, with that. And, and we've, you know, we've been lucky to hold this off this long. Oh yeah, this was the one we mentioned about budget. The transfer there out of the 75 or 80 to pay this year, and I said, would for you next year more than this year. You wrote a note on this about a week ago. One of the things they did read. Okay. That. <laughs> that. Um, you were going to ask maybe finance for um, what's that fund, that emergency or whatever the transfer line of reserve fund. Reserve fund. That, yes, that was, yes, yes. But that, no, that was for the Montpons and Pond work. Oh, that wasn't. No, this one. Oh, because no. that's one, one of them. I answered you, and I thought that was. That's the one you 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 said to me. I've got questions about this. Yes, and that's then right. I didn't agree with transferring, so that I must overlap the two. Yeah. Because so it wasn't about. I, I'm not asking for a reserve fund transfer. On this. No. Okay. All right. And I just, you know, where's the limit? Or oh, is it a 10 year? Is it five? No, years? it's forever. It, oh, it's one time. It's well, it, No, we're going to pay every year if we. Yes, do this. but it's it's it never goes it up. It will never go and away. What was the amount? Right now, it's something like three hundred and seventy-five dollars, something on that order. And that's the best. What are we using that we have to pay them for? The commercial right. and aging events they have with the music musicians singing songs. Also, other anything artists. that we use in recorded music. For instance, we have the DJ at Halifax and Lights. If we have the dance classes upstairs using recorded music, um, anything you know, anytime that happens. The dances at the school, elementary school. So, so. Uh, as the radio stations and the TVs yes, paying actually. this money out yep. to the BMI actually. every yeah, time they use somebody's yeah. music, yep. they're paying it for it. Yes. So if I tape it off the radio, they've already paid for it. I know. Well, it's like the NFL. You can't reuse the NFL recording for anything else other than the NFL. But no, it's it's been short and ridiculous. I'm, especially I know. when you have all these people hacking into computers and still in stuff and doing stuff all over the world. And they're going to pick on the honest ones and say, you got to pay me for this because I know I know where to find you. And who were broke to begin with. Oh, my God. 
Uh, if the board votes it, that's fine. But no, I, I, I you know, I, I, I really, I think it should be up to the the taxpayer if they're. Yeah, because uh, I mean, we're, you know? we're we're looking at shortfalls and everything, right. maybe even cutting people's salary, or losing people's mm -hmm. stuff, and we're about three hundred dollars. Well, we're also for, for we also got to make sure that we're not hanging the town out to dry. You know what I'm saying? For I, I understand the legal ramifications. I just yeah. think it's uh, it's, it's know, short, short side of ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> and and are they covering ninety percent of the artists? You no. know, we're going to get hit. ASCAP will be coming down. I'm sure once they hear beer my oh. money from us, ASCAP will be next. So we open. And how many of them are there doing that? that? There's they between the two of them, they take most of the artists. There are a few small organizations that take a much smaller number of so artists. So then we'll just make sure. Can you actually restrict other artists that yeah. look at? We got this agreement. We're only going to do these artists. <coughs> and then the popular song comes out with one of the other artists, right. and they well, want to use it. You well, can't you, use it. Cause correct. You would have to tell anybody coming in who would be playing music, whether live or recorded, that they are limited to works under these copyright organizations. So I should only sing Sam Cooke music, and I shouldn't get involved in it. It's he probably is one of those. It's two. a slippery slope. You know, uh, you know, open I, the door. And I, it's I just have a, a moral problem with it, yeah. but if it's something that may, in fact, because we make a decision that not to do it, cause the town more money because of a lawsuit in the future, then I mean, I don't know. does town meeting have more weight than, than ignoring it? Well, or I mean, if, if the issue comes up, look at town meeting voted it down. Well, which will not matter if we, if, if for some reason BMI took us to court, I don't know that they would because it's a small change, but just for the heck of it, hypothetically, the fact that town meeting said no is not going to be relevant to a judge. So there's no way to, but we're obligated to bring it to town meeting. You're not obligated to do anything. No, we're, well, we're representing them and we're, well, yeah, we're I mean, conflicted on let, let, which say, way no, to go. If, let's say today BMI decided to sue the town. I, I suspect that you would be the person sued. Not personally, but the, I don't know, the it's just kind of yeah, that hesitation point. really threw oh, me under the bus. I mean, basically, we represent the town. We're going to want that the names will show up on <laughs> on the lawsuit, even though the town would have to put the money out yeah. and come up. So, if that has no weight, then why go through? Why go through? Because that's the only way you get the money. I mean, either you know. Well, other than we have to, ha if we have money, we can do it well, a lot easier. If, if uh, I will vote to put it on the ballot or whatever warrant for the town to vote it, and then go from there, I, I don't feel comfortable with it. But right, that's just own um, personal. But opinion. are we going to make them aware that we still might have to do this, whether you vote or up or down? Is, is it like a non-binding vote? I think, I think or we, no, it'd be an appropriation at town meeting. Okay, so if the town is appropriate, that ties our hands to. Correct. We would then contact BMI, and I, if they probably would ask me, well, did the town appropriate money? He said, no, town meeting refused to do so. Then the ball's back in their court again. They can decide to... So it isn't us to get in... Well, I mean, we're partially responsible nevertheless in the sense of we'll know that illegally we will have people coming in with recorded music or, use it, or live music, and they don't have the proper, we don't have the proper rights to allow them to do so. But we didn't know what time they were going to put it to. <laughs> no, I think that's the way. Just put it to town and... I mean, you know, it, it's, it's mm -hmm. sort of like saying if someone stands up and sings the national anthem and somebody put a little piece on it, <laughs> you could have paid up because you're saying that. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, that's how it's signed copyright. But it's, it's, people are going to think this is going to be a hot-button issue and I don't want to make it one. I, I would move that we place it on the one article at the town, you know, that we can voice our opinions at town meeting. Second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. So okay, aye. And the last one, the meeting space is I can contact Mr. White. Um, basically our problem always is in terms of having over capacity. Some means is that even, is that we don't have a lot of spaces for meetings. And the jump from the Great Hall, let's say 80 people, to the multi-purpose room at 250 is a very large jump. 
we probably, the me he's particularly incensed about was last year when we had yes. the council age. And I agree, it was fully packed. You know, if we had known that number of people were showing up, maybe we would have done it over yes. the multi-purpose room. It would yes. still fit, we were still within. But we had a lot of people standing in the back. He's, he, I was overstuffed. This was not a the environment that was not conducive this, this to a special good meeting. No, what this was saying. a special form per se presentation about the proposed council. Yeah, and we had a couple, but oh. that one was very yes. busy, and others were not. And he was very oh, upset. not the town. He was very upset oh, yeah. that we had a meeting place that wasn't conducive to having that number of people, especially that number of elderly, there. And the challenge always is. Can work the meeting space for the right number of people. It's hard to predict too. Right. Well, that's it, yeah. So it's it's. Could you have expected you know. a year ago that we'd have so many people upstairs to talk about cards? No. Right. So. That's what that was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I could. Um, Especially when they start talking, they're going to charge. Look at the money you want to charge for the bar and, and ten dollars for every chicken. No, no, no. That was a. That was a. Mm -hmm. every I bumped into somebody that said they talked to you yes. about <laughs> towing? About the animals. No, I'm talking about, yeah, it wasn't about animals. He's the guy that runs um, the meetings down the fire station. I don't know why, I remember numbers, I can't do names tonight. Towing? Towing, you know how we use the tow companies? The Oh, yeah, the, the question I can't remember was, like, some, some of the individuals... He runs who, Triad. Yeah, yeah, can. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Some, of, some of the individuals who uh, put on the list to toll, they feel they're not being called on a regular basis when they're on the list for that particular day. I, it's, and, it's, and it's not something I want to discuss tonight because i got to get some more information on Okay. It. I think one of those two is why we're, <coughs> you guys are out of town Total companies versus what I said that don't pay was, taxes was, was this, 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 that they okay. they pick not so much out of town or whatever else they pick on each individual as a, a day or a week that, that they are no yeah it's a week schedule yeah yeah on the schedule so that's how it works no I know I I remember he he mentioned that and I I told him you were you were out so I re told him I would remind you of that and, and you know also what in the discussion was. Uh, who replaces the mailboxes or signs that are destroyed when plowing? And we send that note out every November yeah. 1st that says mm -hmm. anything within the town bounds isn't us. Isn't us? Or no, we don't, we're not responsible for it. So, I, you know, and some of that I don't agree with. During a storm, you can't see. You're out there, the weather's terrible. But if three days later you're doing cleanup, well, there's nothing you, 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 there, There's some responsibility for, if, if it's buried, you can't see it, that's one thing. If it's something in plain sight and you, and you damage it, that's different. There's nothing preventing someone from filing a claim. I get the hiccups, I can't stop. Okay, dokey. Um, but I'm just, it's different than during a storm than after a storm. Mailboxes during a storm is kind of hard, but after it. I mean, I, I have seen, I, I've seen more mailboxes and signs yeah. stuff along the road that are either off with a little kilter or the mailbox is completely gone. People get baskets and stuff to hang it out and replace it. So it's, you know, it's a little, from as being a citizen of the taxpayer, it's a little aggravating. But I also realize that you're right. You can't, well, sometimes you can't tell what's underneath that. Yeah, but I, I think, you know, when they're doing it during the, when it's sunny out, it's, there's no storm, there's, there's really a, not a lot of excuse to not be aware of things running. But it's like the sign up the center of town. But at the that same time, you, the, the way, and here's how an individual explained it to me. Now, you require me to put a mailbox on in front of my house with my address on it, well enough out so the post office can deliver my mail. You require me to put an address on my house. Yet somebody comes down and destroy that, how am I responsible for somebody else destroying what I put out there when you require me to put that stuff out there? Well, that's the federal, if you want to mail there, right? <laughs> yeah. Isn't that the federal that wants you? I mean, we, we want the number on the house, so we, yeah. they want the number so we can find them. Yeah. So, you know. You know. But yeah, I mean, if you're, you know, and I, I, we can go oh, I'm done. Pam, you all set? You
Any, any happy child you're on? Um, so I, need to go, uh, I need to go in executive session to talk about the patrol officer contract. Well, that means I get to go. You get to go. You're free. You get to fill out your form. Now. And don't let I, go. So while we're waiting for the backup, I can do the form and. No, we'll go well, over there. Before, before we back. close up, I wanted to say one thing. Oh, I'm not waiting. Yeah. You guys could be over there for hours. I don't. Well, I wanted to thank you guys for running the meeting the way that I watched it on TV the other day. And, you know, that's, that's more punishment. Oh, God. But uh, for and Cam and yourself, for the meetings that you guys attend, I don't think people realize how much work you guys do to make things work. And you. you. Just, I don't do anything. He does all the out of town stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think so. Swimming up street. Yeah, what do they what do they call that that keeps you on an even keel? That's you. It keeps you steady and moving yeah. forward. But no, I, it keeps I, you I mean keeps that. the rest of us from straying off course. I'm not, I'm what not, is I'm that? I mean, very much to because I I I sat there and I was I couldn't talk and my chest was killing me. It was like because <laughs> I wanted to get up and come up, but I couldn't. Yeah, I'm glad you're feeling better. No, me too. I'm still the voice. And I, I learned all these Navy terms from my old man. I, I'm forgetting them again. Anyways, I'm done. Well, we can motion that we spent. go into executive session in order to talk about the police contract. The patrol to officer. Back, patrol patrol officer's officer contract. contract not yes. to come back into public session. Yes, yes. Any further yeah. discussion? All those. Maybe we're yes. not coming back. We're going into it because. Not be coming back. You will not be coming back in the. And we're going into that session because it would be harmful to the town's bargaining interests to handle the safety of the community. community. In what the was public. Hmm? I have to say Today those words. There's a new yeah, word you'll set away. Okay, okay. Yes. look about it. I see this blonde woman. I don't know who she is. Yeah, get those words on our stuff here. We know what those words are. I know, are. I don't know. I, I will tell. How yeah. Yeah. Yes, I will. Yeah. Yeah. See, see, all this, a lot of the stuff was never here when I actually did my first year. You know how lucky you were? I asked for it. I know. You just I didn't know ask. you could ask that and get sure. that. Sure. <laughs> okay. before your time. Bye. All right. Thank you all. Have a pleasant week. Are you, are you going to this uh, Boy Scout? Oh, I was going to ask you.